Good morning and welcome to every one of you <coughs> to this uh, Isha Insight 2014, the third edition of uh, Isha Insight. History is uh, replete with many events where individual leaders, because of their insight and their commitment, have changed the course of what happens on this planet. At the same time, there are also many disastrous events on the planet when leaders operated without the necessary insight and did things which caused enormous disasters on this planet. So leadership at any level, whether you're running your own business or a state or a nation or whatever, in whichever way, if you are touching a certain number of people in a day, I consider you a leader. So being a leader, three basic qualities which sets a leader apart and makes him into a fruitful proposition for everybody around him is his integrity, his ability to inspire people to do the right things and above all, insight. So these three qualities of integrity, inspiration and the necessary insight into the activity that we are performing. As I said, without integrity we will not set the necessary ambience for success. Inspiration, if you do not have an infectious level of inspiration that people around you are fired up just by seeing you and the way you function, if that doesn't happen, a certain level of uh, sloth and inertia will set into the atmosphere. Inertia means uh, it's death, you know, if somebody becomes inert, that's called death. So situations will die, we may be doing great things, but if the necessary inspiration cannot be generated moment to moment on a daily basis, Whatever great things we may be doing, many great things have floundered simply because the necessary inspiration was missing in the atmosphere. And insight, above all, insight is your ability to see something that the majority of the people do not see. When you become a leader, either you grew into your leadership or you were born into it or you were elected or whichever way, when you become a leader, Leadership gives you a higher perch. If you sit on a higher perch than the rest, and if you do not see any better than the others, then you will become an object of ridicule. So insight into what we are doing. Being a leader is like being a captain of a ship. If you are the captain of the ship, you don't have to do the hard work that the crew is doing, but you must be able to chart out a successful path, you must be able to see everything that is there right now and you must be able to foresee that which cannot be seen right now. So this responsibility is fulfilled only if one develops a certain level of insight. Above all, we want to genetically engineer your DNA in the next four days for success because success is the sweetest thing in human life.